I believe if you were to watch this particular scene in slow motion, you can pro you can see Charlie progressively get taller. We built a ramp for him, so he could at least, he could not like a munchkin next to Dan, and even Derek at six two or six three still looks small next to Dan. Dan's just a big man, but uh, there's Charlie standing on an apple box. Uh, I think Charlie spent about half this film on an apple box. Uh, not because he's short, but just because Dan's big. Oh, well, because he's short and because Dan's tall. But, uh, yeah. And this scene never made it in because we never revealed a Porsche. So, but we did have a Porsche. But I don't think Porsche gave us the rights to show their emblem. This was the last scene of what was the longest uh, day of shooting by far. And that's Tom Morlone and Caven Worthy who played Marty and Felix. And um, this was a lot of fun. We were on the golf course probably a little longer than the club manager probably wanted us on there. We took up a little more holes than they probably wanted us to. And there were still golfers trying to play through on the hole behind us. There were a group of guys partying after their round of 18 at the clubhouse. The crew was behind the camera on this one. Um, a lot of playground laughter and like a lot of... Uh, sophomoric humor in this scene and, and I think it carries over into the scene unfortunately we end up on the cutting room floor despite it being as funny as it is and this is a really good moment with Nathan and Chase I think it's kind of foreshadowing so but we of course find out that they make out and so it's completely okay <laughs> That's what we call shooting blanks. You gotta visualize the cup, man. Visualize this the cup. scene just didn't make it in because it's just awkward. Wow, there's Bree. <laughs> that that may be this may be my worst piece of filmmaking ever. Um, easily. Um, it's kind of as, as if a UFO dropped Bree off in the middle of the golf course, and she happened to be there when the boys were playing golf. So that's why that wasn't in there. Kind of an abrupt introduction for a, a primary character. But we, we, it was good to see the relationship between uh, Tyler and Bree and how uh, Derek and uh, Amy played that. And uh, they had a lot of fun. So at least they had fun while shooting that scene that did not make it. The annual photo. Your family do them too? Well, this scene did not make it in for a number of reasons. Uh, Charlie is a man who can grow facial hair really fast. And this was on the first day of shooting. And, um, of course, when you don't shoot in sequence. So you oftentimes uh, will do one scene over a course of days. And as we were in post, Peter uh, Liptak, the editor, and I, whenever we were uh, cutting this scene, we noticed that um, in the beginning of the scene, at the dinner table scene, uh, Charlie was completely shaven, which is the scene following this. And in this one, he has a... Pretty uh, pretty nice little three o'clock shadow going on. So, um, for all you actors out there listening to this, just just shave all the time, I guess, <laughs> or don't grow hair like Charlie. Well, um, there's the same amount of risk reward in shooting 35 millimeter shooting film as there is shooting HD or any kind of other, uh, I guess, digital format of uh, filmmaking. And we lost some footage, and one of the uh, pieces of footage we lost, or one of the scenes that we lost, uh, was a hot tub scene. And the first thing that uh, Derek's character Tyler says in this scene that we are watching right now is, hey man, what happened to you at the hot tub? And although we all liked this scene and agreed that it was good for their relationship, we just thought we'd be throwing the audience a curveball with there not being a hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Jared. Um, as I mentioned in one of the earlier scenes, uh, we had, we had lost some footage, and in one of the uh, scenes that we had lost was a re, um, was the blossoming relationship between these two guys. And so, um, whenever we were going to get ready for to go do reshoots, we kind of went back and forth on whether or not to make Jared gay or make him straight. And as you can tell in this particular scene, he would have definitely been gay. Um, so whenever we decided that he was going to be straight, we, of course, had to nix this scene. And uh, I really liked this scene, though. It was uh, a lot of fun to shoot. And that uh, front yard was, was uh, filled with dog defecation. So these guys really were troopers to do this scene. There's Nathan looking for a boyfriend. Can't find one, but he's about to. Uh, 
in this scene, um, well, it was raining this day, and the scene before it was beautiful and sunny, and the scene after it was beautiful and sunny, and uh, you can actually see rain falling behind Dan's. It's a really nice scene, of course, Derek, and of course, Dan really do a wonderful job, but it just didn't fit, just didn't match. Can't go sunny, rainy, sunny. Oh, mom and daughter golfing. Nothing straighter than a couple of lady golfers. This is on the sound stage in Victoria. Uh, Derek and Charlie on their spare time actually did that backdrop. It looks fake, doesn't it? Actually, uh, this scene just didn't go in because we know they're playing golf and we, uh, we're trying to get to the, um, the crux of the story pretty quickly, which was, of course, uh, Nathan and Chase uh, being seen by Stacy. There's the beautiful Pacific Ocean and a lovely tree line and Dan's butt. Anyway, um, this particular scene did not make it into the final cut um, for a number of reasons, mainly being technical issues for sure, uh, ranging from our location directly being underneath a flight pattern for the local airport, uh, for there being a dog kennel across the street and uh, note note to future filmmakers if any of you are listening to this uh, those two combinations don't really make <laughs> for a good sound environment and um, we tried to do ADR we tried to get uh, Taya into the ADR into an ADR session and we did and it still just didn't match that we couldn't find a good um, just a good sound match for Dan's dialogue with hers and we kept going back and forth, really trying to make it work, and it just, it just didn't. It just really, uh, just, uh, well, it just looked really like unprofessional, I guess. And this would be the main reason why it's not in there. But uh, it's still a really pretty scene to look at, and they did a, a wonderful job. And this was a day that this was early on within within the shooting schedule. I think it's like day two or day three, and um, we had all really just we had all met each other. Uh, a day or two before shooting so um, we were all still trying to get a feel for one another but it was this day and it was this scene that I really think that um, Dan and Tay and I formed a really strong uh, working relationship and um, the two Canadians found trust in the Texan you know, I think that's a lot to be said finding, finding trust in the good old boy this scene will also fall into the category of not going into the film because we made Jared straight and not gay. Um, this is another one of the scenes that we were so fortunate to shoot in Victoria because it was just absolutely gorgeous. And um, a lot of the, the scenes were just absolutely breathtaking. We were so fortunate. But um, in this particular scene, uh, there was really no way to cut around it to make this relationship look platonic, if you will. So um, this one fell on the cutting room floor due to a, just a structure story change with, uh, with Jared in particular. But um, it was fun, it was fun uh, shooting this scene, and we found that Charlie really is a woodsman, and that's why he grows beard so quickly. Uh, and oftentimes when he's not acting, he um, goes home and chops down wood and grows a beard like in two hours. And... Um, Scientists are actually now looking into Charlie's beard growing for uh, male pattern baldness. See if they can figure out a way to channel facial growth onto a man's bald head. All by Charlie's uh, fantastically quickly growing beard. You ought to, anytime that you see Charlie out, ask him. Just sit there, meet with him in the morning, grab some coffee. And then you'll see by the time you're finished, he's, he's grown a goatee. It's one of, one of Charlie's many talents, let me tell you. He writes, he acts, he produces, and he grows a quick beard. <laughs> I don't know why this scene didn't go in there. I don't know if we... It really could have fit. It, it could have been fine. That's actually... Um, that's me on the right. <laughs> they dyed my hair for that picture. 